What is going on everyone, Samurai Solo, and I am back with Elden Ring. So guys, now we are going to check out these two things here. Uh, maybe even a little further up here as well, and maybe finally start doing this. Or perhaps make our way more up north. There is a side of gracing here that shows us this way. We'll see. But for now, let's do these two first. Necessary item ahead? Hold on. Therefore, try stealth? He's pointing that way. Hold on. Oh, wow. Might actually be right here. And... Be wary of dragon. These do have some appraisals on them. Okay, well... Let's... Keep a look out there and be careful. We'll check out this one first. I hear, uh, oh, it's those things. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, well, we got to manipulate that. We don't want them to roll off the edge. We also don't want there to be a bunch of enemies around either. I think it's just gonna hit that rock, hopefully. Disappeared. And I don't have a clue where he went. He sounds like he's over here on the ground. Dang it. I see messages, so maybe these messages might help. Didn't expect dragon. Okay, so there's there's something going on over at uh Oh, wait, I see him. There he is. You can see the dragon from here. Oh, man. Okay, so we have a dragon fight over there. And they said something about an item. Maybe we get the glintstone key beating him. What happened to that? Did he disappear? He probably disappeared. For I, don't know, I didn't know some of these scarabs could disappear like that. I knew they could roll away and disappear after a while. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if we can... I'm worried I'm going to miss this drop attack. From up here, a little more height, I think I can maybe get him. Nope, we're not going to get him from there. Damn it. Not even close. And then there's all those other ones that are flying in the air, so I can't really tell where he is. This could be something I come back to later. I can make a little uh, marker of it. Maybe being on a horse would be better. I just have a, I'm just kind of bad at hitting those things with my horse. I'm afraid I'll miss it and but with him flying away anyway or disappearing. Yeah, that jump didn't even come. Oh, there he is. He's back here again. Let's try. Such a tease. I wonder what he drops. It's white colored. Is that an Ash of War maybe? A skill? or We already know I'm not going to be able to make that jump. So do I just drop down and get on the horse and hope to whack at him? Or hit him ranged? Maybe hit him with a ranged attack. I wonder if that stuns him and then I can maybe move in for the kill. It's worth a shot. Oh, well there we go. Ash of War, Thops Barrier. Okay, that's going to be a magic thing, more than likely. It all is an Ash of War, though, with that said. So let's check it out real quick. Okay, so that's how you take those out. That took them out in one hit. Let's see what that does. Thops Barrier. There we go. Uh, grants affinities and skills to an armament. So magic. Uh, this Ash of War grants an armament, the magic affinity, and the following skill. Thops Barrier. Erect a magical force field while swinging the shield to deflect sorceries and incantations. Can also be used the same way as a regular parry. That's actually pretty neat. I'm, I wonder if I shouldn't put it on my shield. The one I have now. I don't have to do it right this second, but because this one has no skill. I kind of like it having no skill. That way I can use my Ash of War one-handed. 
with this. Okay, so now we have a dragon, guys, and we're probably going to need to do this on on foot here. I mean, not on foot, on horseback, excuse me. You know, they said try stealth, because they said there was some, that's him. Yeah, that's a dragon, all right, okay. They said important item, so I want to fight him e either way. So if he wakes up, that's fine. But let's look around here real fast, just to see if there's anything. But yeah, we're probably going to definitely fight him on our... Uh, we're going to fight him horseback. We can use our spirits. Um, I mean, they don't really help too much with the dragon, but I mean, I, I could still use them, though. I'm trying to think what I might want to... Probably just go with the wolves. And to have those at plus two as well as the jellyfish. Okay, well, whatever's going to be there, it's going to be right by the dragon. I thought maybe there could be something behind them. Try stealth. Like I said, I'm not concerned if he wakes up on us. I'm going to... Does he know we're here? There is some items there. Okay, he knows. Get on the horse, quick. I could have suicide ran to the weapons or items possibly, but we're going to fight him anyway. Oh, here comes the fire. Oh, he said, yeah, he's a magic dragon. To the fire, it's magic. I'm it's going to be a little bit tougher than the other one, I think, with that. There comes the fire breath. He will not move over here, but yes, I don't want to get too close. I'm afraid he's going to bring this fire. Like, now, and I'm going to get caught in it. Let's see. We're okay. It actually feels better to fire him without locking on. He's going in weird spots on the map though, like look at this. Oh boy, we might be screwed here. No, we're okay. Barely. Whew. Now again, I could ignore him and go for the items, but like I said, I want to fight him. And he's beatable. He's similar to the other dragon. Just some magic stuff and stays going to fly again, of course. Yeah, I probably don't want to get greedy. Where is he? There he is. Hard to see. Yeah, you see how he just gets himself in the weirdest spots? Like, it's hard to get to him. And if he breathes his fire, that's what I'm worried about. I got stamina, though. We're good. Oh, man, what a troll. 
flies away right when I get there. He's gonna jump on me. Oh, we survived. We're good. Flies again as soon as we get there. Gets himself right in the corner behind the wall there, so he's kind of annoying to get to. Woo! Oh, good. Okay, whiff, whiff. Out of stamina. <laughs> I thought he was going to get us there, to be honest. I thought that might have been it for me. Like I said, I'm not, a, I'm not the biggest fan, honestly, of these boss fights. Oh, he's shooting, shooting magic at us. No, 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 no. We're good, we're good. Heal. I know another one was coming. That's why I was... You have to go... As long as you're to the side, you can avoid him pretty easy. He's going to breathe his fire. I know he is. As soon as I get there. Yep. I lost track of him because I had a message on my computer here I needed to look at and respond to, but that's going to have to wait a second. Okay. I don't know if that, you know, that lingers there for a second. I don't want to run right into it because I don't know if it'll let me take damage or not. I'm not bothering with that right now. He's going to shoot another, no, he didn't shoot another magic thing out of stamina. Cool. Yeah, it just seems a, a way better way to fight them, though, in my opinion, is not lock on to them. That first dragon, oh boy, might drop on us. Yep. Knew that was coming, you could see it. I better full heal up, because if he does that again, it will kill me. I barely had enough health to survive that. Damn, no and stamina. I didn't realize I was out of stamina though. I was like, why isn't the attack coming out? He's gonna fly again as soon as I get there. And I'm out of stamina. Oh, man, I got to stop running out of stamina. We're going to get hit again. Oh, we got lucky. This, that was just dumb luck. Oh, we whiff. And we whiff again. <laughs> and I'm out of stamina, so it didn't do the attack right away. Uh, we're okay. I'm trying to get him to breathe this fire at me so I can run past him and get a hit or two. And, oh, wow, these things actually... Oh, they didn't damage me. Okay. He's gonna fly away as soon as I get there. Yeah. We're gonna get ran on here, get stomped on. Yeah, just dumb luck we're not getting hit. As long as we survive it, I'll, I'll deal with it, you know? I just don't want it to one-shot me, have to do this fight again, but if it happens, it happens, right?
Yeah, that's why I didn't jump on him. I knew something was going to happen there. Actually hurt the horse, not me. I should have my raisins out for my horse. I knew that was coming. Damn it, don't hurt my horse. Oh! Two times I went for that attack. I wanted to get him, finish him off. I, it might take three hits, actually. With your fire, man. Went for a bite there. No stamina. Oh, I'm not even looking at the stamina guy because I'm just trying to hurry up and hopefully get a hit. I'm trying to get him to do his fire. There. Watch my stamina. Oh, not... Damn it. No idea where he's at. Not a clue. There he is. Okay. Whew. One more should do it. Should. He's gonna fly again. Oh, nope. Let's go. How much is magic? No? Got him. Just an annoying fight. Like, I'm not, that's the one thing I'm not a fan of. But we did get a dragon heart, which is nice. And now we can get those items, which are way over here. Oh, we can also take off this. Yeah, I will admit, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the dragon fights, guys. It just, it's just boring. Like, it's the same thing. It's just kind of tedious as it takes a while. It's just like, right on your horse, hit him twice, run away. All right, what do we got here? Is that a, no, it's a dead body. Nice, we already have a bunch of those, but we can always take more. Dragon Wound Grease. We will check that out. And the Glintstone, Academy Glintstone Key. We are in. Very nice. Okay, so let's check out that, uh... Dragon Grease. So we have Fire, Magic, Blood. Here we go. Codes, Armaments, Granting Special Dragon Attacks. Huh. Solidified grease made from a mixture of gravel stones, craftable item, coats, armament, granting anti-dragon effects. When the dragons were born from their ancient kin, they lost their stone scales, which can now be used to cause them mortal harm. Interesting. Okay, so against dragons, we should be using this stuff then. And we have the Academy Glintstone key now. Key to the seals, binding both gates to the Academy of Raya Lucaria, activates warp magic bound within the seals. A glintstone key will remember its user, meaning once used, it can never be passed to on to another. The Academy does not welcome the indolent. Remember that one guy, Thops, I think, the one we got that Thops barrier, he was mentioning he wanted a, a key, but I guess there might be another one. We don't have, we only have one now, so if we come across another one, we'll, uh, we'll remember that, we'll remember him and go back to it. What is this ritual pot? The empty pot somehow mends itself when broken. Special item with greater... Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember reading that. Maybe certain items only take that. I haven't looked good enough yet. Okay. So, let's go to the dragon school real quick, actually, and see. get another dragon thing. And let's see. That's located... Further down this way. There it is. Okay. So our arcane is at 14, but that's what the thing popped. Normally 9. Actually, I want to get it up one here. Uh, but let me see what we have. I don't really want the breathing fire one, but this one's way out of our range. I'd have to go two points at least. And that's just if I'm popping a thing. Channels Dragon to bite foes. I'm going to go ahead and get this even though we can't really use it yet. I wonder if more of these open up. Like if these are the only three dragon things. I imagine it would be more maybe. But we'll use this one for now. Even though I really can't. Like I said, I can't use it. 
I do want to get my arcane up one point though, because uh, I did get this uh, incantation. Let me show it off here. Uh, Blood flame blade. Now the thing with this though, it costs ten um, arcane. Now I have enough because of the rune, but normally I have nine normally, so it's really only one more point, and I can use this. It puts blood on your weapon. But when they take blood loss, the blood lingers and they lose a little bit more health for a short time. It's pretty neat and it lasts a long time. It lasts just like any other one. Uh, I like it. So I am going to go ahead, I think, and upgrade one point to Arcane so we can get that done. Not exactly the main thing I wanted to upgrade, but, you know, that's one point. You know, like I said, I'll probably devote a couple of points to Arcane eventually, but I'm just doing one now just so we can make sure to use that thing in case I die and don't have a bunch of rune arcs to keep popping. But uh, let's see, what's going to be next? Maybe our Vigor up a couple more points. Maybe Endurance even a point. We'll see. Okay, so we got that done. Let's buy some more. How many do I have? Let me see how many throwing knives I have. If we have enough of them... We have 73. I guess that's good for now. But I kind of just want to, you know, if we go to a brand new area, I kind of want to use my runes up to be safe. I'd rather be safe than sorry and kind of just use them. But it's not a ton, I guess. At least we did level up. So, is there still any way to see? There is still no map marker. And I am going to be stubborn right now. And I am going to take this and we're going to head up north and look for it. Also, I don't think I ever looked. Oh, I did look up where that was. That's where we got Thop's Barrier, right? Cause that's where the dragon was. Yeah, that's where we got it. When we do explore here, we're actually going to go back here. I don't know why I have this marked. I don't remember what I, what would have been here at all. So this is interesting. I remember we did very a, a while ago. We kind of just glanced around this area, but I didn't like give it a good look through. But there must have been something interesting there for me to mark. So we'll have to see. But... Foot of the Four Belfries. That sounds interesting. Like we're about to hit something there. <laughs> Let's find out. And let's just make it... I mean, this is leading us this way. I mean, I, we're going to do this before anything. we do anything super crazy. We come across a really wild-looking area or something, but... What are these jellyfish mad about? I'm actually kind of curious here real quick. Let's see. Well, there's a place here. Hmm. A couple items, but they're angry. Do they take a good damage off these? Oh, yeah, they do. I might need to go buy some more of these, actually, because you see how fast we can run through them. One more. Boom. Blood grease, and what is this? Jellyfish shield. This should be interesting. Let's check this out real quick. It's a great shield. Ooh, it weighs eight pounds. But look at the stats on this thing. Actually, it has a lot worse. But the guard boost is 50 compared to white. That's it? 50? We have 56. So why would I use this over my brass shield now that I look at it? Because look at the stats. The only thing it's better at is lightning. Although it does have a thing called Contagious Fury. And also it would make me heavy anyway. I mean, I could probably take off the extra axe or something. But the stats are actually, for the most part, worse, and it's heavier on top of that. It's okay. Like, this one's a lot better, but it's it's really heavy. That's fine. But this is better. This is heavier, and it's like... You see. Oh, it looks neat, though. <laughs> yeah, remember, I'm heavy now. Okay. What's Contagious Fury do? Uh... Wait, let's see the description. The head of a spirit jellyfish commonly found floating above sacred ground throughout the lands between, wielded without modification as a shield. The see-through head is extremely light, but its flesh is supple, providing absolutely no protection from piercing attacks. 
Also, if enemy has like a pierce, like a rapier or a spear, I'm gonna get hit with it. Then really don't want to use it. Then incite the jellyfish's wrath and allow its fury to flow through you. Raises attack power. That's that's kind of good though. But again, it's eight pounds. It's really heavy. I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll consider using it here and there, but stat wise, I'm just not like the shield defensive stats. I'm not that impressed with. 40 lightning and this does 39 so it literally has one point better it has worse guard boost it has worse everything else it has one point of lightning more and it weighs a pound more it does have a really it looks like a pretty good skill though with that said raising attacks is nice but i mean i could also put barbaric roar or something on and have that same effect so i don't know i don't get it i don't know not that impressed with it honestly maybe if i didn't have this brass shield i might Okay, so... He's in a block, which is fine. And I can use my my wolves, so let's be careful, see what we got here. I hear growling or something. Yeah, I can hear... It's hard to tell if it's further up there, or if it's like right in this thing. So let's actually... I didn't mean to bring the wolves out. Well, they're bought out. I was going to throw my knife. Those serve as a good distraction. I guess I can just get in there now that I got the wolves. Oh, magic. Where'd that come from? Take care of him, wolf. Dang, from way up there that we're getting shot at? Let me see what this item is. It's a purple item here I want to get real quick. Rune arc. Eh. Got some range on that, huh? Oh, my. A pumpkin head enemy. Okay, hold on. How do I get up there right now to take care of you? You quit being a pain. Obviously, I could throw stuff at you, but... Is that pumpkin head bothering us? He is not. Looks like we can sneak around him. And get up top. Yeah, you're just being annoying, aren't you? There's a couple more guys here. We're gonna go get that pumpkin head, too. Oh. Give me a drink now. I was hoping to have my knives out. Gosh, I'm not paying attention. These wolves are great. They got him. Where's that? There he is. Ryer Lucarian Greaves, nice. Couple of chests. Seems I already have that item because it didn't say new. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, he got he managed to code it. Oh, whoa, he hits hard, okay. Let's not get too cocky here.
That'll learn you. Yeah, we are... Those wolves, man. If it's a trap, I don't really care. I mean... Smithing stones, nice. I might consider going to upgrade this to plus 7 and beyond, honestly. I'm really liking this weapon a lot. I think it outpaces my hammer right now, so I don't really need to upgrade the hammer anymore, and I would just be rolling with this for that, from now. And the and the curved greatsword as well. Let's go take out Pumpkinhead. Make sure there's nothing else around here, though, real quick. And let's look at the map and see if we can finally see a map marker. There still is not a map marker around here that I can see, so we have to go further up, which is fine. Because we're going to be stubborn and do it, but we are going to get these guys out of here. Also, let me drink my... This? My health for field sport time, and I get half of my uh, FP back. I throw spears. Yeah, these things always drop sanctuary stones. All right. Wolf, you've done your job, buddy. You can go ahead and go away for now. Yeah. Yeah, the wolves really uh, made that a lot easier, didn't they? Oh, hello. Didn't see you. Oh, there's a chest here, too. Cuckoo Glenstone. Nothing. Man, that lasts a long time. Your health refills? Look at that. It's still going. That is insane how long that goes. I'm going to definitely be using that. Yeah, it's slower, so you have to be careful, but... I didn't realize it lasted this long. That's definitely better than just getting half your health back real quickly, I feel. Oh, there's the map marker. As soon as I say we can't see it, there it is. It's perfect. Let's mark that. What's cool is... Now, I don't know if it's going to... Hopefully, it, it marks all of this we've looked at so far, as well as, obviously, up here... Because it'd be, cause then we can come back and see if we've missed anything around here. Maybe it doesn't show everything on the map, but it'll help. Let's go get it real quick. Oh, the two of those, all those giants pulling that car. We saw one back at the Limgrave area too. They, um, I'm sure there's an item in the back, in the back there. There's a guy on a horse. I don't really want to mess with them right now. So I just want to get this map marker first. One of those leave me alone and I'll do the same to y'all. Yeah, I'm not going to risk falling off. <laughs> A lot of blood stains here. They really tuck this map marker way over here. There's probably one down south area too, but... We'll come back for that later. There it is, west. Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, wow, look at that. We got the whole thing pretty much here. Oh, yeah, even down here? Did we go to this Evergal? We didn't because it would be marked right now. So we didn't go there. Look, there's a place here that we somehow missed. That's the village. Did we not check these places out? I remember that's where we got the um, medallion from that guy. I'm sure I had to go there, right? 
There's a place here. Wait, is that just where we were before? Yeah, that's where those enemies were upstairs. Up there, we just went to. Um, there's an Evergal thing here. This is awesome. I'm so glad we got this map now. And look at this. Look at this huge area. This is a whole place right here. A fort or something. Let's leave that alone for now. Though, with that said, I just really wanted to find this map. And so now we can see what we've missed and come back to it later and check it out. Um, fantastic. Let's make our way back here. The Academy Gate Town. And let's look around here. How do I get more from storage? Does resting give them to me? Let me see. Yes. Now, I want to see what I have marked here. There's something I marked here. And we did glance around a little bit here, so I'm not going to go all super crazy looking through everything. Let me place a marker where I have this. A Is that an Erd tree? Oh, it is. Whoa. How come I didn't get this before? Did I get the thing here already? I didn't. Huh. Why would I not have done that? That's weird. I marked that, but I didn't. Good lord. Okay, well, cool. We found the golden seed. I don't know what maybe not get that before if I marked it. Don't think you can get up here. Okay, I just... We can take that off now. Um... Let's make our way up here now. That might be the magic barrier they speak of. Let's make a thing here. Oh, okay, hello. We didn't check, we didn't see what this is new. Doesn't like there's like an alternate way to get up here. I thought there might be. Let's just look here real fast though. With that said, just look around the corner. This place is huge, man. Let me see the map. I mean, look at all these little spots here. We, I'm pretty sure I didn't check any of this stuff. See a blood stain there. This is what I'm kind of interested in seeing here. Is there anything here? No? Yeah, I'm not worried about y'all. There's really nothing here so far. You would think this would have an item, even if it's just a minor item. Okay, no, that's not an item. Something. Is there a message here? Try night and then dung? Could this be dung eater? Is it possible? Is this the side of Grace? Oh, cool. Okay, there's the side of Grace. We'll go ahead and get that real quick. Time for night. Okay, yeah, there's something going on here. Wow. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. We're going to run into the infamous Dung Eater we've heard so much about here. Okay, actually, we haven't heard anything about him, but just because of his goofy name, I've been wondering what his deal is. We're going to make it nighttime, I think. I just want to look and see if there's anything else here real fast. This message was located right here. I kind of want to make a marker at this... Kind of specific spot here just so i hopefully that doesn't disappear because i kind of touched it there it did i'll disappear because <laughs> i'm touching it because let's find this whatever wait where did it make the marker at well it went way over i don't know where it went
Okay, let's uh, let's make it nighttime and see if anything happens because they're saying night. Um, who knows? I really don't want to explore this place, uh, the one we're going to be going up to with the enemies and all that at nighttime, but just around here real quick to see. And be careful for anything. That's why we're on our horse. There are blood stains here, and there's, there's really no enemies around here, so there's multiple blood stains. What is that? Is that a dragon? Oh, it's a... What the heck? It's a uh, death right bird. Oh, wow. It's a, we found one of these in the Weeping Peninsula. Another one of you, huh? All right. Oh. I mean, kind of in a bad... Yeah, they do magic damage. I got to be careful on that. And I can't bring out... This is another fight where I can't bring out my... God, I know there's a risk to do, but... No, no, don't code it again. I'm trying to get back my shield. Damn it. I was holding block, but I guess the angle I was at, I got a heal. Okay. Oh, they don't look like they're weak to blood. Maybe fire? Oh my goodness, that does a lot of damage. Risky heal, I knew that. I thought I was going to die there. They're a lot tougher than the Weeping Peninsula one, that's for sure. Slightly different attacks and their magic variety. I am actually feel like I'm doing less damage because of the blood. Hey, I wonder, am I? I feel like I should probably have Barbaric Roar for this. I think I have that, right? Damn, I held block. I just punch right through it or what? I can check my physic when I get a chance. I haven't even taken half its health off. Wow. This might be a fight I come back to later. We know it's at nighttime. We know where it's at. Uh, we'll come back to it. I was expecting uh, I was expecting Dung Eater, but we got Death Bird instead. I think it, it is a dual. But you know what? Want to give it one more shot? Let's give it one more shot. So, unfortunately, it seems like. It doesn't get, take any damage from blood at all, unfortunately. So that was a waste. Uh, let me see what spells I have on. The thing with Black Flame, it takes so long to bring out. I could maybe try the Flame O Flame. See how that does. I'm also going to need to pop a rune right now. I wonder if it's... The thing is, if it can be poisoned, it, it's got to be... The mist stays in a certain area, and it moves all over the place, and I'm going to be moving all over. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep it long enough to get poisoned. That's even if it's not immune or weak to poison. At least I remember to do this. Okay. So I think I'll try some O-Flame. And I can't, fortunately I can't use these guys. 
Let's make sure it's still nighttime, though. Give it one more shot. Yeah, this death bird, like I said, it's a, it's a lot tougher than the other one. Maybe fight it? I, I feel like we can fight it on foot. I don't think, like, horseback's, like, a better alternative, in my opinion. Uh, or was it? Oh, it's got our runes. I didn't really need to mark the runes. It's already on my map, but... It's not even... Oh, actually, I didn't realize I had 10,000. Wow. Okay. I love the way it comes down, it looks crazy. Did that miss? The 191, I mean, I'm doing like 128. I just took a bunch of hits unnecessarily for trying that. I was hoping to be like really weak to it or something. We gotta stay close. Um, I pressed R1, nothing happened, and I love that when, I, when the game does that. It's done that to me so many times, where I go to roll or especially attack, and just it doesn't come out. That little peck is so fast, you gotta be careful getting underneath them, or her. Again, went to attack, nothing happened. Seems better to hit from behind, just because it, it can peck at me from the front. Take our time. I, don't want, I, I know as soon as, oh, we're good. So I was like, as soon as I go to attack, it's gonna hit me. Oh, I missed time that. I need to heal. Good Lord. We were doing good there until I uh, until we weren't literally. I was like, all right, I think I got the pattern down. This is not bad, but it, it's kind of a a bit of a tedious fight, as you can see, in that you have to. Uh, it has a lot of health. That's why I feel like I feel like it's beatable, but I feel like it's also a fight we maybe might want to come back to later. So let's go ahead and make sure. Let's come back to it later. I just want to give it one more shot. I don't want to sit here for an hour. And the thing is, I'm gonna fight it later. I, I definitely will. In fact, I'm gonna make a marker so I don't forget it's here. Um, first we'll get our runes. First we're gonna make it morning and we'll get our runes. It's around somewhere here, right? Uh, marker, let's put this. The thing is, the item we're gonna get is probably magic related and that's worthless for me. Again, I'm still gonna fight it though. Let's get our runes and then, um... We'll call it a video for here. You know what I think I'm going to do off camera? I am going to go ahead and upgrade my weapon here a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade a couple of more points. Um, I could probably have enough to get it to 7 or 8. In fact, we could do that now, really. We could just check it out ourselves. Now, so I have the money. We're going to go to a new area with all these runes. Uh, might as well use some of them up a little bit. See how much we can upgrade this weapon. That's not the right way. So let's see, we can take this, take Smithing Stone 3. We have 17, we have more than enough. And like I said, I really like this weapon a lot. It's been doing good for us. Extra damage is always a good thing. Let's do it. And it's still Smithing Stone 3. So I'm going to, I'm going to make a commitment to this and the Omen Cleaver. Actually, I'm going to upgrade them one at the same time, side by side. Because I do like the Omen Cleaver a lot too. So let's go ahead and do the Omen Cleaver. And then let's do this again. This will be. This still takes three. If it takes four, I'll probably stop there. I think I'm. I don't even know if I think I do have some smithing stones that are at four. And omen cleaver, we have enough. Yes, we do. Perfect. And I can't upgrade again. So I need one more, which is which is perfectly fine. We upgraded these two more times, which is great. 
The Omen Cleaver, that way, in case I need to be a little bit... it's a little, I, I like the, the slash attack, the range it covers, if there's multiple enemies, and the bloody slash is amazing. But sometimes we just like using a big, heavy, rusted anchor, right? And this weighs 12 and a half, the Cleaver weighs 11 and a half, so yeah. That'll work. And... Let me see the Ashes of War I have on this thing really fast. Because do I have like a Barbaric Roar? Maybe I didn't get that one for this. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll, how did I... Do I not have Barbaric Roar? I don't. Man, I swear I thought I had that. We got to find that. That's probably one you find back at Limgrave or something. We have Ground Slam, Wild Strikes. Wild Strikes might be good for the Anchors. I have Ground Slam right now. Those are the heavy, so we're going to keep it heavy, though. So, yeah. Okay, that's... Okay. But, all right, guys. Let's, uh... Let's see. Right here is where we need to be. It's probably better to do it from here. I think it'd be quicker than right here. All right, but all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. And when we come back, we are going to continue on and um, finally make our way to the academy here. And we'll find a use for that glintstone key just yet, won't we? But that's going to do it for this one. I do appreciate y'all watching. I will catch you all next time. Hope you all have a great day. Stay safe. Take care. Peace.